I wanted to talk about how badly I failed on YouTube this year. Like that, right? Using the Nespresso. I figure we have all this coffee. I'm buying all this Starbucks coffee. And I have coffee right here. All I gotta do is add creamer. Or milk and some ice cubes. This thing never seems to end. started the year I am pretty sure started with 79 subscribers I'm at 117 so I grew about 38 or 40 subscribers this year I know that's not a lot to most people especially in the space of YouTube and social media everyone wants to grow their following by these huge numbers and I'm no different I understand the process I know it's gonna take time and I'm really insistent I'm not gonna change anything I do I'm gonna continue to vlog my life lifestyle vlogging whatever you want to call it I hope that this year it's 380 subscribers or 3,000 subscribers. Who knows? You never know with YouTube. But that's my goal. Keep working, keep working, keep working. Grow this audience of people that watch, subscribe. Thank you. We can make this channel bigger. I can make this channel bigger. I know it. Oh my gosh, she always got her shit open. I gotta clean the windows, man. The windows on my car are so beat up, so like you can't see out of them and shit. I didn't bring uh, a windshield washer. So it's, oh my God, that's so close. It's so late. I just got McDonald's fries. Cause I need to eat something, obviously. I took some kimchi from Jess's dad as well. Oh, very fucking tired. Oh, finally home, finally home. Oh my God, it's like 5 a.m. Yeah, oh shit. It's beautiful that it snowed. That's great. I have to go outside, but I can still see the ground. That patch of ground right there. That still tells me that it shouldn't be the worst travel to work, which is good. So I'll get there and, and it'll be good. It'll be pretty good. Piece of, uh, piece of advice. To don't eat McDonald's at 11.30 at night. It'll never do you any fucking good. Today, going to the Apple Store Fairview Mall. I'm gonna go by and see my niece. I'm gonna pick up my mom, ask my mom where she wants to go. I'm gonna surprise Jess. She wants those big earmuff Apple headphones. I'm gonna surprise her with them. She was talking about getting them. She doesn't know I'm doing it. I feel I always like to surprise her with things. So hopefully she hopefully she enjoys it. She'll get mad. I know she'll get mad, but I know she'll enjoy it as well. I was just telling my friend what I plan to do for Jess. And she's like, do you know what color? And that's the one thing I don't know. I don't know what color she would want. screamed as soon as I came in. She saw my big mug, screamed. Blocked off my upstairs parking lot, which pisses me off. Finally back home. I gotta share the story with you guys about, I'm pretty sure my gesture will be greatly received, but the fact that I got the wrong item pisses me right the hell off. That's the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I got purple. Is that what it's called, purple? This is what I'm happy about. I 
I got just these AirPods Max. Yeah, that's the color. I got her the most. First thing she said was, how much did you pay? I didn't even want to tell her because I knew she would be like, oh, just return it. And I'm not going to fucking return it. She's going to take it. She's going to enjoy it. Every now and again, I don't do it all the time, but every now and again, I like to take the opportunity to get, you know, get her something. And the fact is, they're nice. And if she doesn't want them, I don't even know that I'd return them. I'd probably keep them for myself. The things I didn't do well that I thought I did well, which was be consistent. I always said to myself, consistency, consistency, consistency. And I thought I was actually doing that. And towards the end of the year, I really stopped doing that. There was a stretch where I didn't post for 40 plus days, I believe. That is not me. I was posting once a week, once every two weeks, and I really fell away from that. And I'm not on the best start right now. It's been two weeks since I last posted the last video. Habits I gotta get out of. Sometimes you just fall into some ruts and not a creative rut or not. Not that I'm in a rut in the sense I don't wanna edit, I don't wanna film. It's not that, there's just other avenues in my life that are taking up my time. And it's just finding that balance, finding that good balance. This is what I wanna do, this is what I have to do. This makes me money, this doesn't make me money. This is passion, this is necessary. That's how I look at it. And so it's finding a balance to ensure that I don't sacrifice anything that I enjoy, but I also give attention to the things that matter. Mm -hmm.